Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. Are you doing anything next weekend? Um, not with you. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wasn't asking, I was just I was just curious about your life generally. Oh, okay. That's very presumptuous to think that I would go for a girl like you. Oh, uh, it's a bit, no, I... Uh, it's, uh, well, I have a thing called standards, so it's fine. Anyone else notice how all the laughter disappeared? It's pretty much the same mindset that if a man comes to you and says, excuse me, miss, it only means that he wants you and you go on and say, I have a boyfriend. I only wanted to ask for direction. I didn't really want to know about your romantic life. If you make 100k, how much do you want your man to make? If I'm currently making 100k, I would assume that I would meet someone in the same bracket so he'd probably make 100k the same or more one we do live in modern society women do work men do work i'm not gonna sit home and not do anything uh, hypergamy is also still very much a thing so you're always gonna date someone in the same bracket or someone that makes more it's between the two would you be open to dating a guy if he was making like 55k it wouldn't make sense for me to date down personally just because if a guy wants to lead a relationship how is he leading it if he's making less so it's all about money when it comes on to the ability to lead for a man to lead in general, the, the money helps you lead in a lot of ways. Responsibilities and goals in a relationship. If it's just money, you're not making any money, what are you doing that's leading as a man? How can you treat me good if you're not making enough money to feel like a man? Isn't that subjective though? Why do you say that? A man could be totally comfortable making 35k at Walmart. There's nothing wrong with that. I think that's fine. But also date a girl who works at Walmart who makes the same amount or less. Why would you date someone who's taste is like caviar that's gonna ruin your ego as a man leading the relationship princess doesn't mean making you feel good but she does have a point though and i try to make that same point in different videos especially when it comes to all these young girls thinking they're gonna get with a millionaire people with money run in the same circles they're always gonna be surrounded by other people with money and poor people run in circles with other poor people so if you're thinking that you're gonna work in mcdonald's and you're gonna meet some millionaire it's not really gonna happen where do you even think you're gonna meet him he's not gonna step foot in McDonald's and even if he wants McDonald's he probably have some assistant buying that for him or if he doesn't have an assistant he's gonna order in where's Rick uh, I'm don't I'm just... care where's Rick he is out with his friends. This is what she pretended to respond to. When he goes out with the guys and no one posts anything. This is just how to destroy your relationship 101. Of course, you're gonna have to find a relationship first, but still, he's out with his friends. The last thing on his mind is stopping himself from having fun to post something on social media so you feel better about yourself. I'm willing to bet everything I own that if all social media will disappear tomorrow, 90% of all these influencers will have no idea what to do. I still remember them crying for two days when Instagram was down. And the best part was them crying, saying they don't know how to reach their friends. Your phone wasn't down. Instagram was down. The best and simplest way to reach your friends was that exact same thing you're holding in your hand. She's worked really hard to get where she is. So if you're not ready to come into her life and handle your business like the mature partner she's put herself in position to deserve, don't waste her time. I absolutely won't, but not because of that. Obviously, we're back to deserving stuff, because why not? But it seems we always live with the idea that uh, she worked so hard and she got in that position where she deserved uh, stuff. And I guess I didn't. All I did was wasting my life away, waiting for her to put herself in that position where she deserves uh, stuff. And it's just that because we live from the idea that she worked really hard and I didn't, makes me think even being the a-hole that I am, I've never done something so wrong or so horrible that I deserve her. This is by far the most embarrassing thing I've ever done whilst dating. If you're new here, be sure to follow. This is just one of many stories. I was seeing this guy for a little while and he's a very visual person. Loves to text and flirt through texts throughout the day. So we had a conversation about moving on to Snapchat. We all know what Snapchat's intended purpose is, and I think I can safely say I was using it the right way. 
I sent him a very spicy descriptive text and he asked to see it. So I record the video and I go to send it and my fat thumbs send it to my cousin. No, right, it's one of them stories. Yeah, this is not the hub. You might want to turn TikTok and your account into the hub, but I'm not doing that. Love you first official. Uh, apparently you love your cousin more. Mid with a whole lot of confidence. Cringy AF. Who is this Jeffrey? <laughs> Do you still stand beside what you said, babe? You're gonna delete your comment. No, don't delete that. No fun. Bye, Jeffrey. Yes, I bet he will still stand by his comment. I look way worse than that guy and I'm still gonna stand by what I'm about to say. You're still mid. And just because you think you're better looking than that guy, it doesn't make you better looking than how you are in terms of looks. But when I'm gonna argue with that guy that left the comment is his so confidence. A lot of confidence, in fact. And I tried really hard, but I still don't see it. If you had any confidence at all, you would have ignored the comment. But you decided to go and look the guy up and post his picture trying to shame him for his looks so let me correct his comment you're mid with zero confidence still cringy af though yo let's play a game okay bet i'll go first okay would you rather never mind you go okay okay all right would you rather flash everyone at the bar oh my god i would never or 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 cheat on me with my roommate mike shut it off no. Stop recording. No, no, Stop I don't know why the f you did that. We've been dating. No, I don't know why you're crying. You literally cheated on me. I literally what? gave you everything. I trusted you. She's crying because that's one of the three major manipulation tactics. Crying, yelling and trying to put the blame on you for not being around so much or whatever. Or dragging you into the bedroom and giving you the best time you had with her. Cause you know she's gonna put her best effort into those moments. Right now she's crying, trying to guilting you into apologizing to her for making her feel bad about her cheating. What you need to do is not fall for it, count your losses or your blessings and send her back to to the streets. Oh yeah, and make sure you throw your roommate out at the same time. Am I the only one that cannot relate to this? Give me one margarita, I'ma open my lips. Give me one margarita, I'ma talk to a few people I don't know. Give me two margarita, I'ma dance a little bit. Give me three margarita, I'ma compliment your outfit and give you a hug. Give me four margarita, I'ma claim you did something wrong to me and punch you in the face. Give me five margarita and I'm going to jail. My type of people, or my type of craziness. I'm gonna stop after the third Margarita do. But in case you have no idea what she's talking about, it goes like this. There's some stupid song about how many Margaritas you drink before you turn into a complete 304. And obviously that song became a trend on TikTok where all the 304s decided to pretty much show what they'll do. And I would rather give her the fourth Margarita than get anywhere near all the others. Everything you touch turns to gold. You are magical and you don't even realize it. You are so beautiful and incredible and you can do anything that you could ever dream of in this world. Believe it. I know, I'm magical. I have a magic wand that in only 30 seconds can turn a smile into a huge disappointment. And you better believe it. But no, you've guessed it. I got nothing better to say because I have no idea what she's talking about. Are we all getting tired with these half messages on TikTok? Well, even if you are, I suffer through it, you're gonna suffer through it. Because yep, I'm petty. But petty and magical.
حتى ما خذيش عربون سيد بيك عني جاي يا رفلات I'm thank you for choosing عرس ومليا I'm sold where do I go and buy tickets or I should better say ticket cause there's no point buying a round trip anyway this is gonna be it for today as always I do hope you enjoyed the video if you didn't I still appreciate you for making it this far thank you all so much for watching stay safe and I will see you in the next one